Hey guys, welcome to Wrench to Drive. Ho ho, look at that. My uh, hard body Bronco shell showed up in the mail. And it looks pretty awesome. All in one piece, no big deal. Not a mark on it. Looks really good. Long story short, I give this uh, kit 9 out of 10. I'd be tempted to give it a little bit higher to be honest with you because it's pretty awesome and I'll start by going through my minor minor criticisms so I'm gonna post a picture of the uh, the box that it came in it was packed well could have been packed in my opinion slightly better and personally I would be willing to pay a little bit extra if I knew that the packaging is where the money was going and that's one of those deals it's kinda of hard for the for the people in China to to justify going the extra mile when most people don't want to pay extra right so it's it's kind of a catch-22 like you want stuff to show up in one piece they want to save money if they possibly can so this this came in a box that fits it very snugly and uh, it had bubble wrap and there's not a mark on it so I'm not complaining but I could see how it could show up damaged this got to me in two weeks to me shipping totally acceptable Christmas is coming. Uh, personally, I would definitely say roll the dice and uh, hope for the best. As you get closer to Christmas, you don't want to push your luck on that. Now, this body shell is really nice and thick. Like that's the better part of two millimeters, I would say thick. This thing is super solid. So that's a huge selling feature. It's really nice. Very small minor criticism. The, uh, the signal light lenses are clear super minor criticism if you're nitpicky and you want the lenses to be orange and red respect the front and back respectively you're gonna have to figure out a way to do that and make them look nice which uh, a little bit tricky if you really want them to look good I mean like there's there's kinda no substitute for a colored lens if you want it to look really uh, perfect I guess is for lack of a better word so that's a super minor criticism in my book uh, the level of detail in this kits really really good nothing nothing of substance to complain about uh, quick note the uh, the mirror lenses that, that go in these uh, these uh, these mirrors here they are chrome they're on the chrome tree so that's pretty sweet they're gonna look really really awesome the chrome is nice quality so that's that's excellent is that when you're when you're doing a molded setup the uh, the uh, the thingamajiggy the moldy the moldy bits that you have to cut off leave a little bit of a mark and as you can see on the chrome what do you do about that as far as I know there's no easy way to touch up chrome and make it look really really good you can touch it up and make it look you know much less obvious it's, you know that's a minor criticism because that's something that's very hard to avoid they would have to cut these pieces off pay somebody to to, to do that then spray them instead of spraying them on the tree that all costs extra money so that's a really minor criticism my uh, my uh, sticker sheet is you know a little bent it's not it's not terrible I don't think any of the, there's any wrinkles that are that are going to show up that's a minor criticism and that's down to the, everything being inside the body in the packaging and this had to be bent a little bit minor criticism if this was damaged it would be a little more significant but you know it's not minor minor criticism now with this being a molded body there are some injection dimples there's one here one here one here one here and the most important ones on the hood now I think I think these are actually intentional I think that's for body posts but to me if you're running a hard body chances are you don't want to use body posts so you're gonna to have to fill these in um, I'm not even sure what to say about that because I don't fully understand it and I don't fully understand the thinking because if they were on the bottom well that would be nice like and, and they are but I mean if they were only on the bottom you know you can drill those holes out and use body posts if you want the fact that they show up on the top means that anybody that doesn't want body posts has to fill them in which is kind of a hassle um, other than that this body is absolutely tip top that's it as far as I can uh, come up with for criticism so pretty minor in my humble opinion now once I get this sprayed up and uh, put together I'll let you know if there's any if there's any glaring problems but I'd be super super shocked if there were because 
everything about this is super nice quality. It's, it's, it's as good as you could possibly expect. Like I said, I will keep you posted on that. Now, now one interesting thing, it is made of multiple pieces. So you can see right here, that's a really good example. This is a seam where two pieces were put together. There's another one back here that you can see. You kind of get an angle there. So right along there. And it also goes... Anyways, it's made of multiple pieces. Now, this has been put together really, really well. I wish I knew how they did it, to be honest with you, because it's really slick. It's, it's, uh, the seams are, are really good. Like, there's a seam across the hood that you cannot see at all. Now, you can see a seam along the edge here. And I don't know. I mean, I'm torn whether or not I would even care or not. I'm trying to remember where the actual hood seam is on a Bronco. And, you know, if, if, you, if you didn't want to do any body work and you just wanted to spray it, I'm not even sure that that's going to offend you. I'm going to do a little bit of body work on this. Not a whole lot, but a little bit and, and try and get rid of that. So that's something to consider. A minor criticism. I mean, these days, show me a product that is absolutely you know, perfect from a, from a, like a scale builder type perspective. And I don't think that product exists personally, but, and then I mentioned the Chrome, but boy, oh boy, this Chrome stuff is really nice. The quality, as you can see, there's a few little, little blemishes, but boy, oh boy, they actually show up on the camera. I'm going to say almost better than they do to the eye because you can get that uh, that flare on there and really show them off. But these these look really good. These are you know not perfect, but they're they're pretty darn good. I really can't imagine being picky enough to want them better personally. And for what it's worth, one of the reasons I bought this kit was that uh, I was too cheap to buy the proper bumpers to go with my uh, my Sunset Bronco body. I bought the body, it did not come with the bumpers. And uh, I only I paid like 130 bucks for it, which is a smoking good deal. So not you know I wasn't super upset. I've been using 3D printed bumpers. No big deal. I think they look okay. They don't look great, but they look okay. A set of Traxxas bumpers is between 30 and 40 dollars. Well, if you factor that off of the price of this kit, I got it for a whopping 50 to 60 dollars. How can I possibly go wrong? Because I'm going to use these bumpers on whichever truck I want to be nice and uh, sell for real money. And then the one that I keep, I'll just use 3D printed bumpers, like I have been so far, and I'll be perfectly happy. So uh, who knows, maybe I'll put the 3D printed bumpers on the one I sell. Anyways, the point is, these look awesome. Super, super nice. Now in case you're wondering, the trim is really nice. This chrome trim is going to look super, super spiffy put on the truck. You got that. That was the back uh, trim piece. This is the front grill. Super nice, super shiny. Quality is is really good. You know, it's you can see there's a little bit of imperfection in there, but like I said, it I swear it shows up on camera, at least as well as it does to the naked eye. And then there's these big long trim strips for the side of the truck. It's gonna look awesome. Nice glass, windshield glass. As I mentioned, lenses, mirrors, black grill, and a roof rack, which is kind of ugly to me when you use it in the two-piece mode. You can use just, just the low version if you want. Pretty sweet considering it comes with it. No extra charge. Oh, and then uh, one other thing I meant to mention comes with the handy-dandy shiny Ford uh, letters. All nicely spaced. On this on the sheet so all you got to do is carefully transfer them onto the body that's pretty nice um, I, had, I had held off for a long long time because these bodies are not super cheap and if it came and it was all busted up you know obviously a guy's not going to be happy because you either have to do a bunch of work or you're you know you're just out of luck because for the most part trying to send stuff back to China and get your refund is a major pain in the butt so I had been very, very reluctant to order one of these because I just just was not sure it was going to show up in one piece because, you know, polycarbonate bodies, they're notorious for showing up uh, a little the worse for wear, let's put it that way. I had one that that uh, it was shipped in the summer and it was not only mangled, but it was like heat mangled. So it 
there was no hope it was going to straighten itself out if you if you you know gave it some time or something you you know i tried putting some heat to it and straightening it out and salvaged it a little bit but it definitely didn't look tip top so yeah, it's a crapshoot guys it's a crapshoot i mean my best policy with polycarbonate bodies is always to order more than one because then they come stacked and there's much less chance that the body's going to be damaged or at least both of them. Usually the outside one will take a little bit of damage and the inside one is perfect. So then you get one for a beater and one for a good one, which is fine if they're cheap enough, but if they're expensive, well, it kind of pays to just buy one locally, right? Which that's what we tend to do. Well, this body, it showed up good. So no complaints. And I'd have to say, I'm going to post the link here. Uh, this seller is top notch. Got here really, really fast. It's packaged decent. Um, everything about it's good. Um, I also ordered some uh, some drive shafts for a TRX four front drive shafts because they had spares that were a very reasonable price. And I ordered a interior kit. Okay, I can't find the interior kit, so I'm just gonna say I ordered the exact same interior kit from Injora. The Injora one came in a box. It everything about it in the box with the instructions and everything was just a tiny bit better. So I want to say this interior kit is like a clone of a clone of a clone, you know, one of those types of deals, right? And it was the exact same price as the one on the Enjora site. So really, I didn't save anything or anything like that. I just ordered it because it was handy. I figured it would all come in one box, chances of stuff being lost or wrecked or anything small, right? And I looked at it fairly closely, and it, it looks fine. So I, th I think it's good. But it's one of those things that's just a little bit funny, like the Enjora one, all nice and boxed, like you know, just a little bit better all around. And whether there's any difference, you know, when it comes to installing it and stuff, what well, we shall see. So this particular site, really good. I can't remember the name off the top of my head. Like I said, I'll put a link in. Um, and my, my experience, totally painless. I would highly recommend ordering from them. So if you like this body kit, what's not to like if you like a Bronco? $90 Canadian, including shipping like 60 65 dollars for the body 25 bucks for shipping that is a bargain absolute bargain and uh, that is all my friends we'll see you next time on wrench to drive where we ask the eternal question do you drive to wrench or do you wrench to drive